Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how to implement Wi-Fi Manager web server on ESP32. I have already explained the Wi-Fi Manager code in my last video and you can find the video link up here. In this video, we will cover the web server. Let's get started. In the code, you will see the library header files are included at the top. The index.h header file contains the HTML data that will be displayed on the web server. These are the login credentials for the web server. Here we are creating an instance of async web server with port number 80. This counter variable will be used later in the code. The not found function will display not found if we get an unwanted request. In the setup function, we are setting the LED pin mode to output mode. Next we are setting the Wi-Fi mode to STA mode. Here we are initializing the serial interface with baud rate of 115200. We are creating an instance of Wi-Fi manager here. Next we are creating an access point with name auto connect AP and password is password. These are the print statements based on the connection status. These are the server handlers for received request. For example, here we are loading the HTML page after successful login. These are the two handlers for ADC value and LED toggle. Initially, I thought of using ADC to update on the web server, but then later I started using counter for more comfort. And at the end, we are starting the server here. Let's compile the code and upload it to the ESP32. Okay, now board is flashed. I will use my Android mobile to connect to the ESP access point. Select the auto connect access point. After connecting, you should see this page. If not, then enter the IP address from the serial print. Once you get this web page, click on configure Wi-Fi. You will be able to see the available Wi-Fi networks here. Select the Wi-Fi network you want ESP32 to connect to. Enter the password and click on save. Now ESP32 has connected to the new access point and here is the IP address and connection status. This is the new IP address assigned for ESP32 and let's open the IP address in the browser and log in with web server credentials. As you can see LED toggle is working and counter value is also updating. I noticed some lag in the counter value update but there can be many reason. So that's all for today. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.